two key principles to this. On a shot fake, a lot of kids, shot fake on the opposite side of their body. Do you do that in the game? Do you know you're gonna shot fake in the game? No, so when you practice shot fakes, shoot the ball and then stop. Does that make sense? So shoot the ball and stop your shot. Because that's exactly how you're gonna do it in the game. You will never pre-plan a shot fake in the game like this, like most kids do. You don't shoot like that so it's not gonna sell. Shoot the ball and then stop. Make sense? Does it look like full speed? I'm going left, right? Rip it, go. Now, option face this way. Make sure we make a J. Okay, so I'm sweeping here, left, right into it. I'm making a J from here into my burst. See that J? I'm not making a miniature J. See that? Making a big, wide sweeping J. Full speed again. Watch my J. Now, see how much space I created? Get as far away from the mat as possible. All right, be explosive. Let's go. Get low. You're not even a little out of breath. You're tired of breathing, okay? If you're going as explosive as possible, you'd be a little out of breath right now. You did about 10 reps, okay? Max and 10. If you want to become explosive, yeah. all you need to do is max and 10 over a long period of time. Not explosive kids like me didn't go max and 10 when they were young. So therefore, they're not very explosive. Sound good? Now we're going shield. So it's the same thing if I'm a righty. I'm spinning out left, right to the blue now. I stop my shot and shot fake. Now we're using the Madison accountability to get away. You're not using the dots after this. Okay, you're making your J still, so I shot fake here and I sweep low and make my J. But now you're gonna push out inside foot dribble. So this is called a shield when you bring your uh, foot across your body. Okay, so what it's gonna look like, full speed. Left, right, push out, inside foot. Make sense? So late, you would go right left to, to yellow and get away from the mat. Does it make sense? So right again, dribble. But does it make sense to get away from the mat? So I do not want to see this. Do you create any space? You guys are about, I'm a couple of inches taller than you. So you won't be able to create as much space as me because I've got longer legs, but you should be pretty close. Make sense? Let's see it. Take this down, push out. Right. That's pretty good. Do you know what I mean by J? Watch my ball. Watch my ball. Do you see a J right there? Right now, half of you are going like this. Does that make sense? So make a J. Exaggerate. You might be slow to start, but regression equals progression. What does that mean? You gotta get force or something to get better. Yeah, you're probably gonna be slower doing this movement. But in the long run, are you gonna be more efficient with it? Yes. Regress to progress. shooter to have an effective move. You can't shoot it and use a shot maker or anything like that. Probably not, right? So now we're going to use and show you an advanced quadruple threat move off of pressure. This thing is deadly, so it's called a quarter spin. We're starting no spin outs now, we're starting in a right quadruple threat. What does a right quadruple threat mean? Where's the ball? Right, right. right there. On the side or in front? Side. Right. Side. Okay, so I'm going to slowly step to the right line. So I am reverse in my switch arm. I'm facing the opposite way with my hips. Okay? So I'm slow here. I am then going to dribble right between my legs. So the reason this is such a protected quadruple threat move against pressure, ball, body, man. You see that? So obviously if they're crowding me, now it's ball, body, man. There's no way they can fall. Make sense? I dribble in the middle of my body. The second my foot hits is when I change the feet. And then you're going to swing your back foot around. So I dribble, swing my back foot around. See that? You're going to be taking two dribbles into a right left. But it's going to look like full speed and watch the change of pace and where I dribble the ball. Ready? Out of the course and quadruple threat. 
again, this is compression, correct? So when we're using split drives and partial sets, we have to control our what? Base, right? So I'm coming here, I'm ripping over slow, I'm going from this position, I'm gonna pow, split drop, left, right, and do it. Watch these. That's really good, that's really good. Make sense? So what's the key to this again? Change your hips. Hips, right? You're going from this way to complete 180 the other way. Yes, handling pressure. So is that a great move to practice? Yes. Yes. Because we want to be able to handle pressure. 